Hello, welcome back to Subnautica. So, we just had yesterday the new update, the prawn update. So no, we're not getting overrun by small crustaceans. It in fact stands for a pressure reactive waterproof nano suit. So, make it with the vehicle bay. And you see it takes aluminium oxide crystals, plasteel steel lingots, uranium and lubricant. So not the cheapest thing to make. Let's go over to where I've got one I made earlier, in fact two. Over to the moon bay, so it can be docked with the moon bay and the cyclops. Welcome aboard, Captain. Rid of that. And that. Oh well. Right, so it has various upgrades. So let's go to the upgrade station here, which uses the same one as the Seamoth. So we've got common modules, which can be used on both the Prawn and the Seamoth. And we've got Seamoth modules, Exosuit modules. So we have a thermal reactor recharges power cells in hot areas. That sort of ties into the, another new thing in this update, which is improved lava zones, I assume. And there's also like, more story and more wreckage from the Aurora. So all that has got new items, new stuff to find. But I wouldn't look at that today, we'll just keep looking at the prawn suit. So we've got jump jet upgrades. Now these purple ones are the arm attachments. You can only use two at once. So we've got torpedo arm, a drill arm, grappling arm, and a propulsion cannon. So I've already made these. And what should we put in first? Okay, so at the minute we have Get rid of that. We're gonna have the drill arm and the basic arm. Then let's get in. Oh, also has storage space here. Let's put some stuff in there because that's oh, not that. I'm using the controller. It's definitely easier with the mouse, to be honest. Okay, and let's get in. So you can actually use that stuff in storage, which I'll show you in a minute. Oh. Now, one thing to note is very difficult to dock with the Cyclops all this. Now, you have the jump jet, so I've got upgraded, if I remember what button. So it's... There we are. You have to line up just right. That's actually the best I've ever done it, but never mind. And that's why I've got that platform just underneath to make it a bit easier. The jump jets only take you so far, particularly when they're on upgraded, unlike these. So, basic arm is on the left here. So that grab things and hit things. It's quite good for combat. And we've already got some more wreckage here. So it's everywhere. It does seem to be a bit glitched out in some spaces. There's some in the sky, which puzzled me at first. I wondered what it was. So we've got that basic arm, so you can have two of these if you've not got any attachments. Then we've got the drill arm. Now to use this there's new large resource nodes. If we can find one. So that's salt deposit. Yep, I think that's one. That's quite small. Let's find a bigger one. Ah, here we are. And we'll just use the drill. hopefully get some stuff. I think I've done this one before. I did make a video yesterday but for some reason it wouldn't let me edit it at all which was annoying. So we've got some lead. There we are so we can pick it up. We get multiple things from these nodes. So let's get out and change over the attachments. Oops. 
Right, so let's have... Oh, we don't really need the torpedo arm, it just fires the same as the normal one. Let's get rid of drill arm. Right, propulsion cannon. Get back in. So anything in this storage, you can fire out of the propulsion cannon. If I... That's a grapple. Right. You can see it says release load item in the cannon. There we are. So these are all in the storage. There's the lead. Not quite sure how to do this, so... There we are. No, that's just picked something up. Try again. Okay. No. There we are. So, that's fun. Perhaps a bit useless, but... I don't know. Try again. Oh. Select it. Doesn't seem to be any way to put it back in your storage using the propulsion gun. We just have to pick it up again. So, and then we've got the grappling hook. So this pretty much hooks onto everything. Whee! Oh, that's nice. Right. Even animals. So let's see if we can find an animal. Pity it's night. Oops. Can we grab this real quick? There we go. Grab things and pull them towards you. Can we find a shark? That one? Can we get him? Come here, Mr. Shark. No, too far away. Oh, there he is. Oops. Aha! I don't know why that went backwards. Oh, I'm still hooked up. Oh! Okay, I'm not sure exactly how to unhook it. There we go. And let's grab on! Oh, we'll go through. There we are. Oh. Try again. Right, there we are. But normally, let's go when you release the button, I think. I don't know why it wasn't releasing. And go for a little ride. Oh, it goes quite fast. Ooh, there it goes. Oh, there's a new deposit over there. That huge silver deposit. There seem to be quite a lot of resources you can mine, which is handy. Particularly things like silver, which can be quite annoying to find before. I think that's about it, really. Whee! Up we go. Oh, we can't get through there. Up! Oh, nope. Oh, Mr. Sand Shark. No, fighters. There's a sand shark. Would like to just grab one, but I don't think we can. Let's just go over to the Cyclops. Get a bit of lift. Well, it works well with the grapple. Get a lot more lift. Get it right. Oh, oh hello. Not oh, missed. Not oh, missed. Ah, come on, we get him. Or maybe not. They will pull you along. They have an amazing amount of strength to pull the, this huge suit. And grab hold here. Then we go up to about where the sea moth goes. Oh, so this is where the problem comes. Let's. Nope. Okay, let's try again.
bit easier in the moon pool now I've got the platforms. I think we're actually just stuck. Okay, is there sort of a magnet which lets you... No. <laughs> okay, I thought that was just going to dock us. Never mind. Ooh, yes, there we go. Definitely do with a better mechanism. Can be quite frustrating. So I think there's new sounds, new bits and pieces in this patch as well. But next time we'll go and have a look at the lava zone and see what new stuff we can find in the fragments of the aurora. And so let's just go and so it's exactly the same as the sea moth. So obviously you can't have both in here, which is a shame. Anyway, so bye bye for now, and I'll see you again next time in the lovely world of Subnautica.